there. Hi guys. And welcome to another Colour Theory, Colour Harmonies episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And today's episode, as you've already seen us do monochromatic yes. and complementary, is split complementary. Now, what is that, you may ask? Well, if you all grab your colour wheels, if you have one, what you'll see on here is that split complementary colours are basically choosing one colour and then choosing two colours that are one step away from the opposing colour. Yes. So, for example, if I were to choose violet as my actual colour, then I would be choosing yellow-green and yellow-orange as the two split complementary colours. Yep. Hmm. And tints and tones and shades thereof. Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're excited about this one. Yeah. Because at least we get to use more than just like, you know, two actual colours. This time there's there's a few other colours in here as well. A, a little bit more colour. freedom. There is a little <laughs> bit more freedom. Potentially. 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 So that's what we're going to tackle today. Yes. Do you know what kind of pour you're going to do? I think I'm going to do three pink grenades on a canvas. Three? Three. Not content with just one grenade. This one's throwing <laughs> three of those little bad boys on a canvas. Okay, well, I'm excited for that. I am too. Um, I'm going to kind of do a straight pour. Not kind of. I am going to do a straight pour, I believe, today. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I really love these colours. I'm going to pick some funky ones for sure. So, yeah, my, my plan is to straight pour these ones onto a canvas and get something that is is even in the same ballpark as a Sarah Mac. That would be a dream come true. I think you should do it. I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Happy Sunday to you all. Thank you for joining us in this premiere chat, if you are. Thank you to our recent premieres. We've had five premiere, five premieres, five Patreons yes. join us in the last week. Which has been amazing. Thank it you is. so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, we love the Patreon group. We just did the live stream and the tutorial for those guys, which was a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so thank you for being here for the ride. All right, we are 9,901 subscribers as we film this out intro. <laughs> so please like and subscribe, share to your social medias if you haven't already. Let's get painting. Let's get painting. We'll see you at the table. All right, ladles and jelly spoons, it's Lee here. And um, I'm really excited for this split complimentary episode, which is one of the colour harmonies of this colour theory series. This has been way more challenging than I thought it was <laughs> when we set out. Would you agree, Show Pony? I definitely agree. Yeah, but I'm, I'm really actually genuinely I'm excited because I'm learning so much about colour. Jeremy and I are talking a lot about colour, which is, which is really cool. What I've got on my canvas here, by the way, which is an 18 by 24 inch canvas. It's gallery wrapped, it's got push pins and tape on the back. But here is my colour wheel the one that we've been using, and this is my split complementary colour palette. So at the top here, I've got yellow green, and then I've got violet and red as my split complementary colours, and then my hints, shades, and tints thereof. This is white. So let me tell you what I've got here. This is the Amsterdam. This is yellowish green, and that represents my yellowy green. Over on this corner right here, we've got ultramarine, no, I'm sorry, it's permanent violet, which is this color all right here. Then here, we've got some primary magenta. This one here is really light pink, and that's a master's touch color. And then this one is one that I've made. So this was using the magenta, and then I actually threw some black into it. So by adding black, to this colour, I took a shade of the colour that I've then got on my chart. So that is my split complementary colour palette. Jeremy, what are you thinking looking at those colours? I'm thinking that you're very daring. I'm scared to death, but <laughs> we're going to see what happens. I think what we found as we go through this is all colours that we keep putting together in this complementary and split complementary colour palette all just make brown all the time. So um, it's definitely an interesting turn of events. All right, Jeremy, so I'm going to layer my cup. Oh, I need to tell you what I'm doing on this 18 by 22 inch, 24 inch canvas. I'm actually just going to do a straight pour. Really? Yeah. I've done a ring. 
Um, and with these colours, I just, I really want to do a straight part. I've done, I've done a grenade as well. I think that was my, or my flip and lip. That was the first one I did with the blues. But yeah, I'm going to just do a traditional straight pour. And I've got an 18, an 18 ounce cup and also some nine ounce cups here. This canvas will hold about 22 ounces of paint. So I am a little worried that this 18 ounce cup is not going to be big enough. But we will layer that one first and see what happens. So Jeremy. Yes. Let's get to layering this bad boy. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna start with a little white. Now, mm. one thing I didn't say when I was introducing these colors is this white has a touch of satin enamels in it. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm um, just gonna see what effect that has on these wonderful colors as I straight pour these out of the cup. Where did you get the idea for the satin enamel? Sarah Mack, as always. So Sarah puts the satin enamels in her white whenever she does straight pours. And the effect that you get is this like really wonderful kind of big buttery cells, I call them. This really wonderful kind of effect that you get. So um, I just wanted to see, we don't use satin enamels a lot in the studio because we don't normally have it. So I really wanted to use it now that we've got it and just see what happens see what effect it has on the pour. So I'm taking these layers fairly small, and as you can see, I'm using the light color or lighter colors to separate these lines. And every time I'm going in with the green, I am absolutely putting a little bit of white on either side because that's one color that I really don't want to be mixing in with the other colors, even in a straight pour. But the other colors I'm kind of fairly comfortable putting them wherever. But I'm intending to do a lot of fairly small little layers. I maybe get a little bit bigger as I go further up the cup. But I know that someone once counted one of Sarah Mack's cups that she was layering, and they counted 44 layers in a 20 ounce cup. I was like, um, that's crazy. And wonderful at the same time. Yeah, that's a lot of layers. Right? Just like an onion, peeling back those layers of a Sarah Mack cup. An acrylic onion. An acrylic onion. Let's go with another layer of green. I'm loving that green. Yeah, me too. I'm just, you know, as always, a little nervous of it around such other colors. You know, it's complementary on the color wheel. That doesn't mean that when I layer them with fluid acrylic paint that they're gonna be wonderful in a pot together. As we've talked about, a lot of these colors do make a wonderful shade of brown. I do like that pink, but I have constant worry that it's gonna take over, because I think we've used it before and it's been a tad on the bossy side, so I wanna be a little careful about how much I put in, even when I'm doing these little isolation, isolation layers. But I do like putting that green right next to that deep dark violet. I think that's a really wonderful color combo. I do too. We're gonna go right to the tippy top of this pot. Yeah? Yeah, because this canvas, as I say, can hold 22 ounces of paint, and these are only, I think, 18 ounce cups. So I may have to do just a little cup as well. But we'll see. I'll finish with that bossy color at the end. That is a bossy color. All right, so taking this beauty, we're now going to straight pour this one onto the canvas. I'm gonna do it right in the middle. Are you ready? I am ready.
Very well done. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I went off the middle just ever so slightly. Hmm, now is the, now is the, the time to make a decision. Do I think that's enough paint on the canvas? Do I want to pour another cup on top of it? I think I actually do. I want to pour another cup on here just to make sure that I've got enough paint to be able to tilt off. Yeah. So why don't I just layer this little cup? This is another like nine ounce cup. I'm going to just do this one off camera and then I'll come back and pour this one on here for you in a second. All right, let's get this one on the canvas too. Now, I'm going to add a flow extender around this one. Now, this is another one of my red colours. And we're going to be tilting most of this off. So, I'm going to pull this one around the canvas and we'll be using this one purely as a flow extender. extremely nervous that it is now tilting time because we're going to see what actually is underneath here but let's do this it is now tilting time tilting time let's get to this you wanna go you wanna leave so baby come and get away So baby, so baby, come 
Wowzers. All right. So the show pony and I have just been discussing this one. Um, this is crazy awesome when you look at it. You know, I really want you guys to see the close up of this one because it's it's got so much good stuff going on here. The only bit that I was a little wearisome of, or not quite sure whether I really loved, was this part just here where it's got a little light and there's definitely kind of the light pink and probably some white mix in here but but there's some really beautiful lines and i love this inner white circle so i don't want to tilt anything more off this side so i'm actually going to leave it i've got this wonderful like green and the violet um you know like fingerlings right here love the shocks of green with the pinks and the purples I am not saying for one minute that this is anything like a Sarah Mac, but it's the closest that I've got to it for sure. So I'm going to get my edges and then I'm going to take you in for a close up because this one, folks, is done. Thank you, everyone. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I'm excited about this pour of today. Of course you are. <laughs> and can I tell you why I know you're excited? Why is that? Because you got orange again. I did. I got orange again, right. which I'm loving. Yeah. So my colors were blue, green, red, and orange. Would you show them on the little color chart? Yes, of course. Sir. So blue, green, like this color mm -hmm. here, um, orange, and red. Awesome. Yes. Okay, I'm excited. What, I, I, this split complementary is just crazy to me. Yeah, it's cra it's yeah. really crazy. Right. So my colors that I decided to use was the Cobalt Turquoise by Master's Touch Love Thick it. Body Acrylics, the Ocean Green by Master's Touch. Love it. Both very bluey green. Yes. The per Pearl Papaya Orange mm -hmm. and the primary red so do you want to talk about the pearl papaya orange yes okay we've been talking about this one extensively i know in i know the studio yes we want you guys to feel like this is not cheating by putting in a pearl because clearly there aren't pearls on the chart but pearl papaya orange is just orange mixed with pearl media exactly so it's not another color it's just a color with some pearl added. exactly so there you go that's the yes. that is your justification right that it is it totally <laughs> is <laughs> Okay. So, um, what are you doing? I'm doing uh, three, what? count them, one, two, three, gr uh, paint grenades. Okay. Yes, I got all my cups, they're pinned and ready to go. Um, I'm going to start layering my paint. Let's do it. So nice. I see that you're going to go in with a little bit of white. I am. In each of these little pots. I am. Oops. I'm loving this color palette together, however. What beautiful colors. Yeah, I'm hoping that they really work with each other. I am going to start with the Cobalt Turquoise. Delish. And is it your intention to fill those cups? Yes. Okay. So you're going to do lots and lots of little layers. Yes, exactly, exactly. Are you worried that that's going to create mud? I, you know what, I am nervous. Okay. But we'll see what happens. Do you think if you would have done less layers and just more color, it would have had less tendency to make mud? Or do you think it's probably got both the same amount of equal chance of it creating mud? I think it has both the chance. Yeah. So I'm just going for it. I see that. Listen, no one could ever say you're not brave. 
<laughs> I do take uh, risks when it comes to paint, that's for sure. In England, we have a breakfast cereal called Shredded Wheat. And it's a, it's a wheaty, delicious cereal. And uh, Shredded Wheat's supposed to make you strong and brave and like, you know, bold. So in England, we say, oh, you've had your shredded wheat. So I would say you've had three shredded wheat today. <laughs> now, I love what's happening in the cup. Are you going to go back in with a little white? I think so. I think I need to. Just a touch. It's just a little touch. touch. Who's talking about? Oh, gosh, I couldn't even tell you. I think Debbie Gibson, right? No, uh... And the third cup? Yes, I almost forgot about the oh, third cup. That. You almost about forgot about the second one. I was, I was... <laughs> you were just reaching for that orange again already. I was, I was reaching for that orange. Oh, are you in the orange? What did you have for your breakfast this morning? I had an orange. Yeah, you did. What are you trying to say? On brand. I do love that pearl papaya though, even in the cup, it's just a... Oh, it's brilliant. Even in the pot, it's a delicious colour. Now I do notice that you've been a lot more sparing with that red, which I think was genius because I also fear that the red would take over quite a lot in a kind of grenade like this. So I like the fact that you've been a little sparing with it. Oh yeah, a little uh, cautious of it. Yeah, absolutely. Is that you done? I'm done. A little splash of white to finish off or are you finished? I'm finished. Okay, beautiful. All right. So have you thought about your placement? I have thought about my placements. I'm gonna do two, one. Ah, love it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas real quick. Okay. And uh, we'll be right back after Let's that. Let's do it. All right, guys, now that I got my canvas flooded, it is time for me to place all three paint grenades on here. Now, if there's three grenades, does that mean it's a battalion or something? <laughs> no. no, it's just three grenades. Okay, go for it. Oh, man. It's okay, it's okay. When you release the beast, that's just all gonna help. Right? Oh, that was bad. That was terrible. I don't see it. what we what were you saying there, sir. The cup is squishy, so I can't like. It's it's just yes, it is a plastic cup. Yes. Yeah, it's squishy. But they're very thin. You are right. They're thin plastic cups. So I couldn't like get a grip on it to like flip it over okay. right. You did a great job. The whole point of a grenade is for the colors to mingle. Right. That's exactly what's going to happen. Congratulations. Play, Play the percussion bongos. percussion drum. Mm. Um, I see you were angry, but do not fear you. In fact, if anything, it's helping the colors to join up in the middle anyway. That's true. Are you pulling all three pins at the same time? Are you doing one at a time? What are you thinking? Well, I have to do one at a time. I only have two hands. Okay, so let me rephrase the question. Are you <laughs> going to do one and let all the pain come out and do the second one let all the pain come no, out? No, I'm going to do one, two, three. Okay, there you go. So. Jeremy's getting very feisty today. <laughs> going to get spanked just like the Patreons. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with this one. Do it. Then this one, and this one. Yes. Now I'm really interested to pull, like to stretch this out. I see some of this orange here. I'm seeing a lot of the uh, 
the yeah. cobalt yeah. turquoise and and that kind it's of thing. It's looking a tad Christmassy. It is looking a tad Christmassy. But I hope the, the light, the lake green, the ocean green, and they pull through. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah, I think so too. Let's see. Let's torch this one real quick. Yeah, let's torch it, and then we're gonna get to Tilton. Tilton. All right. Sir. Well, sir. May I ask you what time it is? It is Tilton, Tilton time. time. Let the good times roll. Right? I think I want to come this way with it first. Okay guys, so I'm really excited about this piece. I absolutely love what happened to it. I'm loving the oranges and the reds and these like deep turquoise and you know that ocean green. This I love it. a look of Christmas about it to a degree. Really? Yeah, it kind of looks a little festive, but that's just red and green to me. Yeah. Um, but you definitely, it definitely does not shout Christmas, but you know what I mean? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in love with it. I think it's amazing. I think it's really cool. All I love right. the lacing and the cells you've got on this one. Well, that's amazing because I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and take you guys in for a close up and we're going to get the edges and see you later. See you later. <laughs>
So there you have it, folks. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> so, Jeremy, split complimentary, yes. tick tackle done. Tick tackle done. Tick tackle done. What do you think? Um, I thought it was fun. Uh, it was really, you know, this whole color theory thing is really. <laughs> Not to cut you off or anything. Right? But I'm going to show my piece while you talk. What, do you, what did you think about Split Complementary? Um, I thought split, the Split Complementary <laughs> Colors was a lot of fun, but these whole comp, this complementary series has been really, it's been a challenge. Yeah, you know, listen, the whole point of Color Harmonies is that you're creating a palette that is pleasing to the actual eye. Now that is great, but when you're using a fluid acrylic, what you've also got to remember is that those pleasing colors to the eye, when combined, yeah. might also make mud. So, you got to be really careful about it. This is my paw. Um, it is crazy. I would never have picked these colours to go together. Really, I don't think in myself, but I really enjoyed what happened on this one. Um, lots of fun cells. Use the satin enamels on this one, so created some really, really fun parts of this. Love this second pour that I did on it because I poured my second cup. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Um, it's a fun, fun composition. It is. Yeah. It really, really is. I liked it a lot. And mine... What about you, Shabboni? I thought mine came out great. Huh. Yes. I love this one. I now, think it really came out great. As this one dried, it looks a lot less Christmassy. Yes, I think exactly. When it was when it was completely wet, it looked like almost festive green and red. Yeah. Um, but now it's definitely gone more teal tones. It has. It dried very, like really blue green it did. and teal and and there's like this beautiful like copper that cop that uh, copper gold that i put uh, in there which was lovely lovely yeah lovely i really like this one a lot it was lovely yes and as you can see i'm not cutting lee out over here it was positively show. splendid <laughs> I absolutely love, splendid absolutely splendid <laughs> yeah i really i love your paint grenades i i have an idea i know what i'm going to do for the next color harmony really yeah I'm, we haven't done this technique before Oh, wow, okay. But Sarah Mack did it when she was in the garage with us. It was the kissing cups. Oh, that pour. was so cool. Yeah, you get a very similar effect yeah. that you do for a straight pour, but I really want to try those two cups poured onto the canvas yeah. at the same time. That was really cool. Mm. So that's what I'm going to pull out, I think, for the next Colour Harmony. Yeah. We'll see what those colours say to us. I know, I know. So, that is it, folks. Thank you so very much for being here. Happy Sunday. There is a train going on. Choo-choo! Yeah. You are already aboard, you have bought your ticket, and we will be heading to the next station very shortly. And I will let you know in the chat who exactly that is. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's either going to be Mina, or it's going to be Waterfall Acrylics. Oh, well, that's awesome, yeah, Karen. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Karen. But just look at the chat over here on either side, or down, or up, or wherever it is, and we'll let you know and hopefully post you a link. So guys, that is it. Yes. Please come and see us on Tuesday for a non-color theory pour. We're gonna do something just normal, just standard on, yeah. on, on the channel. And we will see you then. Yes, Have let's a, get in before I start melting. I, it's not that warm. <laughs> it's really not that warm. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Spritzing already. So we wanna take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> <laughs> Spanks and very special. <laughs> <laughs>we want to take a moment to thank some very special people absolutely and that's our patreons, patreons. so the patreon account is a very separate account from youtube mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio and there are certain levels so at one level for example you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos mm -hmm. at another level you invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So, with the change of venue, what? I know, we've got some <laughs> very special people we like to thank. And that's yes. the gold Massey Posse. And that's Trisha West, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, 
Gloria Salaki, mm. Nate Bright, yeah. Linda Serian, Crafty Chicken Mom, Mary Doulas, we've got Rebecca Hawes Winters, and we've also got Patsy Petrilli. Yeah. Mm hmm. And with the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver, we have Janice and Steve Pittman, we have Donna Panis, and Dana Foxley. And at the diamond level, our one and only, everyone knows that, we all love her, it is <laughs> Sparkles. Thank you, Sparkles. And to everyone else that's down below right here, we thank you so very much for wanting to be part of yes. the Massey Posse. Thank you guys, we really genuinely do appreciate it.